Hey guys, so um, it's late, but I wanted to make this video really quick just because um, tomorrow's the last day I'm going to have my heart monitor on and I kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about it before I turn it in. Um, so it's January 14th right now, um, tomorrow the 15th I'm going to be returning it. Um, part of the reason why I'm saying a date is because um, I don't have my computer right now, it's broken, so my dad's fixing it. Um, so I can't edit my videos, I can't do all the youtube -y stuff, so once I get on my computer again, I'll upload these videos one by one. Um, I'm not going to bombard you guys with a bunch of videos, but I'm going to be making these and um, once I get my computer to be able to do the rest of the stuff that I need to do with them, then I'll obviously upload them and you guys can see them. But um, I want to talk to you guys really quick about this heart monitor and why I have it. Um, I forget if it was August or July, but around that time, um, my my health in general was giving me a lot of issues, and one of the things that was going on with me was my heart rate was going up to 155, and I still to this day do not know why it was happening. But it happened on three separate occasions, I think it was, and my heart rate was going up to 155, and it scared the living hell out of me, for lack of better words, it really did. Um, but it did scare me enough to go to the ER every single time, just because I've never had my heart rate go up that high, and the feeling that I got when it did happen, I didn't know what was going on with my body, I just know my heart rate went up really fast. Um, I couldn't really stand, I was dizzy, I got, I, it scared me, I didn't know what was going on, I didn't know if my heart, like, had an issue, I didn't know, so I just went to the ER just to be on the safe side, and right now COVID is obviously a thing, and going to the hospital isn't the smartest thing for someone who has spinal bifida to do right now, just because you never know. But given my heart being that fast, I didn't know what else to do. I didn't know if I stayed home, if something was going to happen to me. Because like I said, it never happened before. So I went and after the third time, I finally got a referral from my primary doctor to go see a cardiologist. They did an echo and they did an EKG every single time I went to the ER and all of my um, EKGs came back saying that I was fine, like I didn't have any underlining like heart problems. All it said was that I was sinus tachycardia, which basically means that my heart rate was going really fast and that's all it really meant. There was I wasn't having like a heart attack or anything like that, which is part of the reason why I went just in case it was a heart attack. I didn't want to be home for that just in case. So I went and they gave me um, fluids through an IV. Um, they gave me um, this liquid medication. I don't know what it was, but it was, I mean, it tasted like mint. I don't know what the name was, but it was basically for heartburn because I had really bad heartburn when it happened. And sorry, it's been a while since I've vlogged, so my arms are not used to it anymore. So I'm, I'm switching hands a lot. Um, but yeah, I went and after the third time I got the referral to go see a cardiologist, they put me on the heart monitor. Um, this is my second time being on it. The first time was just for two days and they didn't see anything going on with my heart. And so I asked them if I could have it for a little bit longer just in case. And they said, yeah, cause with my insurance, they don't approve right away the full 30 days. I've been on it for 30 days now. Um, they don't approve it the first time unless there's probable cause. And since with the first two days there was nothing, um, I asked if I could have it for longer to just in case something was to show up with the longer period. They said yeah, so um, I have it now. And I've had it for... 30 days now and thankfully I haven't had an episode where my heart rate went up that high in a while now um, but it was happening pretty like 
frequently so that's what scared me because I would have an episode where my heart rate would go up to 155 and then I would go to the ER they would send me home once I stabilized and whatnot and then two weeks later it would happen again and that's what was going on and it was every two weeks and it happened on three separate occasions and I don't know the cause of it and even now I don't know the cause of it um I don't know if it was a medication that I was on because at the time my health was not the best and there was a lot going on with me at the time um health wise so I don't know if it was a, med a new medication that they put me on that caused it I don't know if um, it was COVID related. I didn't get COVID. Um, let me just say that I didn't get it, but, um, I was diagnosed with anxiety a couple of years ago. And with this COVID stuff, my anxiety went through the roof. Um, especially when it was like first announced that COVID was even a thing and like the whole, like every precaution to take and whatnot, it scared me. So I... My anxiety went up. I got scared and I don't know, maybe that possibly had something to do with it. I don't really know what caused it. Um, but what I've done since then is I completely stopped taking all of my medication because I knew that they were going to do um, tests and whatnot on my... Um, they did a blood test. They did um an echo they did another ekg and i didn't want the medication that i was on to give like a false reading for any of the tests just in case there was something that was happening with my heart i didn't want one of the medications to kind of like suppress that like if something was wrong i wanted them to find it and since i stopped taking my medication it hasn't happened so i don't know if maybe it was one of my medications that was causing it but um I gotta talk to my primary doctor because I I need my medication. I'm not gonna pretend like I don't need it since I stopped taking it. My pain has been the highest it's been in a while. And I take a bit different medication for different things, but I do need my medication. So I want to talk to my doctor about restarting and do I avoid certain medications? Well, like, I don't really know what to do right now. So tomorrow I'm returning this monitor and pretty much, like I said, I haven't had an episode in a while. So I didn't have an episode of my heart rate going up that high since being on the monitor this last month. So I don't believe that anything is going to come from this um, reading with this whole month. Um, which I'm not saying is a bad thing. It's obviously a good thing because and then there's obviously nothing wrong with my heart, which is good. But... I don't know what to avoid if it was my medication, so I need to talk to my doctor about that. Um, so yeah, there's been a lot that's been going on with me in this these last couple of months. Um, starting, I think it was June-ish, July-ish of last month, I mean last year. Um, yeah, there was a lot that happened since then with my health. So there's a lot I got to update you guys on. Um, but that's part of the reason why I stopped with YouTube was because of how crazy my health was. There's other reasons why I stopped, but that's part of the reason why I stopped. But I'm going to come back just because um, I've been binge watching um, Mary from The Fry Life. I've been watching like all of her old videos trying to catch up. I've been subscribed to her channel for... A while now but I've been binge watching a lot of her videos and so like from the very beginning like very very beginning till now and it's honestly helped and then other YouTube stuff that I've watched helps with the distractions basically of this whole COVID thing because like I said my anxiety has gone up a lot since COVID started so this helps I don't watch regular TV anymore I just I can't handle it right now um it's just too much for me I don't watch the news I avoid it as much as possible I, I can't handle it 
So just for my sanity, I avoid it all, at all costs and just watch YouTube stuff, Netflix, Hulu, Disney. Just stuff that doesn't really have to do with anything that has to do with the reality of what's going on right now. Just that's what I'm watching. And I'm also getting into like more um, like crafty stuff. Some of you know that I know how to knit and crochet. Um, but I've gotten into other stuff. I've gotten into like paintings and drawings and whatnot. And I'll show you guys some of what I've made. Um, I'm just getting into this. It's very, very new and I'm still learning. So when I show you guys, just be aware of that. I still kind of sort of suck at a lot of it. I'm learning, but I still suck at it. So I will show you guys what I have made and what I just what I do with it because right now it's honestly just a distraction just so that I don't have to think about the reality of what's going on in the world it's literally just that right now so yeah but tomorrow I'm going to return to monitor so I will bring you guys along for that it's probably going to be the most boring thing ever because it, like I said I'm just turning it in but I'll bring you guys along for the day tomorrow just because I haven't done it in a while and like I said I want to get back into this YouTube stuff so I don't know how often I'm gonna vlog just because I don't have my computer right now but um yeah I'll vlog as much as I can but let me show you guys really quick um what I can sorry what I can with this monitor because like I said I'm returning it tomorrow if you saw my last video that I did before this one I showed you guys um the leads so see there's this one so it's two hold on my necklace is getting in the way Two on my chest and then one um, kind of on my side, um, by my belly. Um, so I have those three. And so basically it's just monitoring my heart rhythm and whatnot. And then it's um, pretty cool because um, I don't have to be hooked up to a monitor at the hospital. It's a home one. So let me show you guys really quick what it does. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I put tape on it just because the back of it was um coming off and the battery it's battery powered so i didn't want the battery to come out when i was asleep or whatever and then have it not monitor but basically this button um turns it on see it's battery powered and um, i gotta change the battery soon um so basically like if i'm having like an episode or something's going on with me and i need to like let them know like i just need to press this button right here hold on and then i'll basically click on it and if it's anything other than what's on here, then I'll press other, obviously. But right now, nothing's going on with me, so I'll press that. If I gotta take a shower, um, hold on, my hand is shaking for whatever reason. Okay, hopefully that helped. Um, so if I gotta take a shower, I just click right here. And then I'll just have to click pause, and then I can take the leads off and go take a shower. And then this is to change the battery. So just click here. And you know what, I'll just do that now just because I need to change it. So I'll just click proceed. And then it shuts down. And then there's a blinking light right here. Let's see. So once this powers down, um, this will blink. Right now it's blinking white. Well, it's gonna start blinking red right now. And then once it stops blinking, then I can change it. Okay, so this is the battery pack that they gave me. So you just plug it into the wall. And then this is an extra battery that they gave me. Let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and change this one. So I tape, like I said, I taped it just because um, of how easily this back part comes off. I didn't want it to. See, look, this is how easy it comes off. I'm not even going to, like, try to take it off and it comes off see like it's so easy I think it's just because it's old so yeah this is just a battery right here and then I just switched them and once this goes in this right here will blink and then that's how I know it's turned on again and then I just put this one the old battery onto this right here and then plug it in and then leave this charging and then this is working now so hold on see the battery came out let me do this hold on it's hard to do with one hand and the tape 
tape got all messed up. Uh, hold on. I'll change the tape in a minute. But I just want to show you guys what it looks like. So this, it's starting back up. So yeah, it's just powering back up right now. And then once it powers up, um, I can basically continue to work with it the same way I just showed you guys. So you just press this green button and same thing happens again. So now it's fully charged. And there it is, um, charging. If you guys can see it's pink now. When I first put in the battery, it was blue. So once it turns blue, it's fully charged. So yeah, that's basically what I've had to do these last couple of days since I've been on this heart monitor for the last month. Um, change the battery out and it's basically all I've had to do. And then if something was to happen, if I was to have chest pains for whatever reason, to report it and everything else that was on there. The only one I really used was chest pain. I haven't used the palpitations, I don't think, or anything like that. I haven't experienced it. I've had chest pains here and there, but um, it's pretty much it. Um, but yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to be returning it, and like I said, I haven't had an episode where my heart rate went up as fast as it was going, so I don't think anything is wrong with me. I think it honestly was one of my medications. Um, honestly, that's right, the only thing that makes sense right now, um, but we'll see once I turn it in and they come back with the results, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys right now as far as my heart goes. There's other stuff that's gone on with me that I'll talk to you guys about in another video just because this video is already long. Well, not long, but if I talk to you guys about every little thing that's gone on with me in this last year, it's going to be really long. So I'll just break them up just to not make it so long. But yeah, I will bring you guys along tomorrow to return this heart monitor and bring you along for the day just because... I know just returning the heart monitor is going to be pretty boring. It's literally just me walking into the office, giving it to someone, and walking right back out. I'll get the results in a couple of days. So, but anyways, I'll bring you guys along for the day tomorrow just because, um, like I said, I've been watching Mary's videos and it's kind of helped with an escape, basically, from reality. So, if you guys watch YouTube videos and happen to be subscribed to my channel and this helps with that, then great, you know? But, yeah. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I'll see you guys next time.